Alright, well, I'm back, and I wasn't able to get it to work. Although, I'm not that concerned because the hour is not that amazing. You need? Some supplies, perhaps? Yes, let's see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. Of course. Hmm. Buy all this shit. There we potions. Get all your recipes because having recipes is always helpful. I think that is all I need. Yeah, looks like it. See the difference between the gray iron and the iron, but sure, whatever. I can dump that, so I don't need that. Uh, I guess I'll keep that for now. All right. Um, let me tell you your other uh, again, stuff again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Just so you know that later on, oh, more plants. Later on, as um, as you start to hear things that we've already heard over and over, I'm gonna start skipping uh, uh, like audio that we've heard like, over and over again, just to save some time. Wait, what? Uh, one steel, one iron. They have the same protection, though. That, excuse me? Hey. Hey, hey. Well, alright. Well, okay. That's everything I can get out of here. Oh, that's where the bottle cap went. Alright, so I'm only gonna be playing for a little bit longer. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What'd you think I'd be? Not an elf. Yep, here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. Maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare. No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Maybe they will. We'll see. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. I've got nowhere else <laughs> to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. 
I really need to get a better computer desk. There's shit all over it. Well, not like shit, but like just cracks and all that. It's just a, a one that I picked up off the street. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? I am. He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Ah, pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Hmm. And I'm sure you have plenty of that to offer. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Hmm. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Not very much. I still don't get it. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Ah, uh, now, now I get it, actually. It's kind of funny. I, I only just get it when I'm actually doing it for recording. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Mm, I suppose so. It's the yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our darkest hour. Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. Wait, what? Watch over Terran Loghain and give him the wisdom uh, to bring us victory uh, against the Scourge of Shadow. <laughs> Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep her people safe from the Darkspawn. Let us bow our heads and offer prayers to the Maker, okay. that he might find us worthy. Magi. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk. So how many of you are caught that that's not what she's supposed to look like? And by that I mean when... Hmm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Hmm. This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. I'll give it a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Mm, possibly. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. That's it, if I would. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Alright, well, last time I talked to everyone, but I mean, found out that it really makes no difference if you talk to everyone. So, I won't be doing that this time. What level am I? I am level 3. Alright, by level... What a few levels, that should be good. 
Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. I know exactly what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll start you. He's so funny. Uh... Less being yelled at for me, then. Though the day is still young. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit. The elf from Denerim. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. <laughs> Duncan sent word. He spoke quite highly of you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. <laughs> right, that was the name. So I'm curious, have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? No, I have not. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I have, but I can't no, say I'm later. looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow. Whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Oh, just so you know, I will not be using uh, attack shit. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm really, really not good at this, but I'm gonna try to set one up to be at least somewhat helpful. Um... Um. 
Well, that won't help you out. You don't have any major yet. Ah, yes, yeah. This is gonna be painful for me to do, and I probably won't ever use it. Oh, no. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it. Sure, I I don't even care. Honestly, I'm no good at that shit. In battle, I just switch between characters repetitively so that I can keep things Welcome, going. Young man, I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Mm -hmm. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Hmm. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? It is dangerous beyond its power. Oh. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? Goodbye. That is really, really weird, and I don't like it much. Uh, 
Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go quick find the others. You there, elf. What's your name? None of your goddamn business. Let's go find the other crut. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? I will, thank you. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Don't worry, my ears are plenty big enough. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No, I haven't. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Mm. I had a chat with him actually, yeah. an enlightening conversation. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Hmm. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. That's fine. I received items from that. <gasps> oh, I got more of them. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, please. Where do these things keep coming from, anyway? Is that a mod that's giving them to me? I honestly don't know. I'm not gonna complain, mind you, but... As you wish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Just bump my strength up some more. Yeah, this is very good, yeah. And that one I'll take as well. So? Brought me some food of you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. I'll stir Bruce. Well, I'm glad you approve, Alistair. I hope the Grey Wardens from Orlais arrive in time. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. <clears throat> um. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I that is, um, He's been creepy. like this ever since they found him in the wilds. <sighs> Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like... Caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out here. You are you a weird, weird man. man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Right. Oh, someone. Where's the other? Where's other man? Other man. You got your food and water. 
Now off with you. My belly thanks you. At least if I'm hanged, I'll have a little weight on me. Where's the other man? Other man, where are you, man? Other man? Other man. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more experience out of this before I go talk to him. You approach the tent of Terran Logain. State your business. Hmm. How can you not know of Logain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. Is King there Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Logain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Uh, surely a little bit is fine. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Mm, I, should, I suppose. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? No, I didn't know that. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. I'm sorry if I get kind of quiet. I, I actually really get into his story. To battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. You have some experience to bring to the Wardens, do you? You don't seem half as green as most of the men here. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Then simply hmm. pray. Okay. I don't even know if that gives me experience. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Wait, you say with the king? Do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing off for centuries. Do you think that's possible? I don't see why not. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. Huh. To the Terran's daughter, no less. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. I should go. As you wish. That audio seemed a little bit rushed for some reason. Uh, you know what? Whatever. I don't care. Let's go. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. <laughs> I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three Kokari vials forest. of on blood, one for each recruit. I'll do more than that. What is the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. 
It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Guys, kill them now. Just, just saying, you know. Hail! I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gates open for you. Just be careful <laughs> out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Mmm, I smell food, which means I'm going to have to start recording soon because food's going to be ready soon. Mmm, I could really go for something to eat right now, which is another reason why I'm going to stop recording soon.